What's going on, guys? This is Michael and Mike here from the GFGN.com doing a Dungeon Defenders Overview video. This is a arcade title that came out on Wednesday, which is yesterday, and PSN on yesterday also because the PSN store didn't fully update on Tuesday, I believe. And right now what you're seeing, say hi, Mike. Hey, guys. What's going on? Right now you're seeing me in the leveling up stage. I'm level one right now. So and this is the first mission in the game. And it's this game is a tower defense. Very popular. It was very the popular. Game is very popular series. or tower defense? The series of like it's like it's, own, it's almost its own genre now. It was like oh. a sub genre of strategy games. And it's it's really nice. It's fun, but you also get to do real-time combat, and you have a character that you run around and, um, you know. Sweet. Is the combat pretty fun? It's simple. You have your you have your special abilities and then your basic attack, and right now I'm playing the Apprentice, which is basically a mage. But you also have the Squire, who's like a knight. And you have yeah, it looks like you're fighting some troll right now. So. Yeah, those guys, they're big health. They're, uh, like, combat sponges. I don't know what the... They're a tank, almost, but for, like, the other team. Then there's, like, a bunch of little guys down there that you can kill really fast. And I got some, uh, lightning bolt towers. And I'm using a shield to, like, defend my towers right there on that side. But they're coming at from all angles right now. I don't know if you can tell. And in the upper right, it will tell you... There's different phases. There's the build phase and combat phase. Build phase, there's no one attacking you. You get as much time as you want. You you build everything that you want to build with your mana and all that. Well, with the apprentice, you build. Anyway, yeah, so you build all your stuff that you want, and then you go up to your crystal, which is what you're defending in this game and every mission in the story mode. You, you click X on it for... Uh, 360 and square for PS3 to activate the combat phase, like Which you showed right did. there. Yeah. And this is the second mission in the game. So it this it's it's similar to yeah any other type. It's like a horde mode. Tower defense is kind of like a, just a horde mode, but. Speaking of um, going back to construction for a second, I'm assuming you can't just like build whatever the hell you want to. Is there no, some kind there's, of factor to that? Yeah, there, it, defense units. I don't know if you can see that in the upper right. 36 out of 80. Like, there's only a certain amount of stuff you can build with the amount of mana that you can collect through each battle phase. Okay. And there's chests that pop up on the map. There's loot. So you can get different types of weapons, armor, anything you want. And um, there's some trolls down there. You fight trolls and orcs and evil elves and such stuff like that going on you can see me like and you can compare your loot everything has different stats it works better for some loot will work better for like the siege or the huntress or the monk i guess i should talk a little bit more about the classes so yeah you had the warrior which is your knight and uh, he deal uh delves in like heavy melee melee damage then yeah anyways yeah so he has like the swords and stuff then you got the Huntress, and she's like a rogue, and she has a crossbow and stuff, so she, like, goes invisible and gets behind people and, like, can set traps and stuff like that. And then you got the monk who can heal. He can heal the allies. And, um, which class are you thing. playing as right now? The Apprentice, which is basically a mage. As you can see there, yeah. And you can customize the look of your character a little bit, and, like, their skin skin tone and the colors of their outfits there's, and then there's like a bunch of different preset ones I just clicked the default one because that's the one I saw in the trailer I was like man I should just look like the guy from the, all the demonstrations and all the trailers that we've been putting up so that was some kind of shock like thing just there yeah alright and um, I guess I should talk about the achievements in the game what do we got we got you need trophies well, trophies and achievements, I bought it on the Xbox, as the gameplay is coming from the Xbox. Oh, okay. Master Banker, you get 15 million mana stored in your bank. That's a lot. I don't know. 
I'm, it might build up fast in the later levels. Then you got catch them all, store up, still store all pet types in your item box or on your hero. Defender of Etheria, reach hero level 70. Dungeon Crawler, complete all levels on any difficulty setting. Dungeon Raider, complete all levels on hard, complete all levels. Oh, Dungeon Defender, complete all levels on insane. Um, a Challenger Approaches, that's 20 points. Complete all challenges Challenges on insane. Survivalists reach survival wave 15 on medium difficulty. Defense, defense is the best offense. Reach wave 10 on all levels. Perfectionists earn a flawless victory on all missions, at least medium difficulty. Team effort complete all levels with four active players on at least medium difficulty. Legendary defender earn every dungeon defender's accomplishment. So, that will all add up to 200 points, and in the description below, I will put the, um, what each achievement is worth. Sounds good. Alright, guys, uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Yep. Oh, I know the video ended. It's easy to add more stuff in there. Oh, okay. But I'm just going to re-render it anyways. Oh, okay. Okay, look, I'm going to go start a painting. Uh, can you send me the file? What are you, from the recording? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother cropping it. So there's a bit, like, all the time that you said to pause it and stuff, it was still recording, and a bit before that, before the start yeah. of the video, too. So yeah, that's fine. I can figure it out.